Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about how you can get more hero tokens and more trader tickets because they both kind of go hand in hand. So a little disclaimer, this is kind of like basic information, um, like more so for people that didn't want to watch the entire update sneak peek. If you if you watch most of my videos, you'll probably already know most of these things by now, but I felt like it would be a good idea just to kind of get some stuff out there um, just in case anyone missed that video or was just looking for information specifically on uh hero tokens and the trader thing so we're changing up the defensive layout right there i'm, I'm gonna i think i'm gonna try three shield gens and just kind of see what happens with it so um we're gonna be taking on dr terrence i already did the first couple gbe stages and we had a request from a patreon uh supporter called wolfie and he wants us to try out all grenadiers with sergeant brick so i'm gonna do zookas for the first couple stages just um so the video isn't like 50 minutes long just with with grins just like launching out uh, grenades and stuff so um so hero tokens and hero tickets so obviously the way to get more hero tokens right off the bat is to get more trader tickets because the more trader tickets you get then the more uh trader crate openings you're going to do the more trader crate openings are you you're going to do the more uh hero tokens you will get so the way to um the way to, to do this obviously you get more uh trader tickets but chicken where do you get the trader tickets from uh, you get tickets from guaranteed from the daily chest and from the supply chest. So again, this comes down to being somewhat uh, active and clearing your map. It, it, it doesn't take that much time to get the daily chest and the supply chest. So um, it, it's not like you have to be super, super active to get that. So that's two guaranteed uh, trader tickets per day. And um, so you get the, you can get, you. And the next point I guess is um, another way to make sure that you're getting uh, your, your hero tokens maximized uh, each week from the trader is going to be uh, the night before the trader lands, so on Thursday, or you could even do it Saturday because that's going to allow you to have a little bit more time to uh, to get the upgrade up, upgrade going out of, out of the way, um, is going to be to stack your resources because there's going to be one hero token that's available strictly from... Uh, from a large uh, amount of resources. Uh, so the first one was 4 million wood. So it's gonna be something like that. So it's gonna be a good idea to um, to upgrade your vault to max, obviously, so you're not losing out on too many resources. But uh, before you go and do the trader thing, make sure you're stacked on resources. Make sure your map is full. Uh, maybe boost your resource reward if you wanna do it really quickly. Um, but that's just another thing to, to kind of stay on top of um, to make sure that you get the most hero tokens per week from the trader and um, as far as how many trader crates you should open, this comes down to obviously how many tickets you have. But I think the sweet spot is going to be four uh, crate openings. Because from what I've seen and what I've seen people post, it looks like um, on the fourth, either the fourth or fifth, I think it was normally the fourth chest, um, you can usually get eight tokens. So I'm not sure if that's going to change from week to week. Since it's such a new event, we're not really 100% sure on that now, but I would say go ahead and uh, just open as many uh, trader crates as you can because that's probably going to get you the most benefit in the long run um, it, if you do in fact are guaranteed to get eight tokens in the fourth or fifth chest again we're not 100 percent sure on if that's exactly true but that seems to be what most people have been uh, posting about in the forums and stuff it's, it seems to be a pretty good way to to stack your resources so <clears throat> I would say open at least four. If you can do five, uh, go for it. Again, it's going to depend on your activity level and how many um, how many trader tickets you're able to grind up. So let's go ahead and load up the Grens. So I never use Grenadiers. I'm thinking we should put out at least two boats of medics. Uh, but you see right here, guys, I actually just got them to level 11. So let's go ahead and diamond finish this upgrade. And what do we got here? We got uh, we got one level left on them, I think, to get them to 12. So we can probably do that the next time I go ahead and clear my map. Um, so I'm not experienced with Grens by any means. And unfortunately, the Troop Mania is over for me at this time. So this is going to be very, very pricey, but that's okay. Okay, let's get the Grens loaded up. Probably should have just made a uh, Gren loadout, but uh, we'll, we'll try the Grens here. I'll... I'll, I'll use a couple boats of medics because I feel like that's kind of required to run Grens. Um, 188 diamonds. <sighs> Wolfie, what are you costing me here? Alright, so stage 6 and then again 6 times 2 um, is some chicken mount for you. 
that's going to be the uh, the amount of trader tickets we get guaranteed. Um, if you're less active, I would say go ahead and only um, and only upgrade um, and un sorry and only open two chests per week if you can. If uh, if you can't be more active than that, um, and and try to get the resources for the extra one. Of course, that's going to help for sure. Um, okay, so what's going on here, Chip? We lost two on the start. These machine guns are going to be a little difficult, so we got, we'll throw out the battle orders, and that seems to help a little bit. So I think I'll go ahead and take out these boom cannons next. Now again guys, I'm not good with grenadiers, so just kind of bear with me here, we're trying to learn this on the fly. Oh my goodness, could this boom cannon have any more health? Okay, um, let's go ahead and reclare back, get them out of the range of this cannon. Okay, so that's going to be the end of Sergeant Brick. And, of course, uh, save your diamonds. Um, 500 diamonds is going to get you, um, what was it, 500 for 5 hero tokens, something like that. So that's going to be worth it, uh, for sure, to, to try to do that if you can. And, um, like, I, I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't say buy the diamonds outright if you don't have them. That seems like a bit of a waste to me. But, um... If you can save them up and say you have a lot, like I know there's a lot, a, a lot of people that uh, that have a ton of diamonds saved up just for like a, a big update. I think this would be the time to use those uh, on your hero tokens and stuff. If you are concerned about getting um, getting the abilities leveled up as quickly as possible, then that's gonna be that's gonna be an okay use for diamonds. Oh my god, these grins! This is not gonna work either. Yeah, I think we're gonna get uh, I think we're gonna get roast here. I mean, even if we get to the HQ at this point, I feel like we're not even gonna be able to do that much damage. So. Uh, Wolfie, I tried. I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. Um, I, I would be here all day if I tried to if I tried to take down Dr. T completely with Grenz. Um, I didn't want to do it on the earlier stages because I felt like that would kind of be a waste. And again, I, I felt like it would take a lot of time. Um, maybe we'll get lucky though. Maybe we'll get lucky. You never know. Um, what's going to be the priority of the shock here? Probably that sniper tower, right? Um... Go ahead and shock the sniper. I feel like the rockets are pretty well offset by the medics, but I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're, they're not doing anything for damage. We're going to run out of time here. Um, okay. Wolfie. Wolfie. Oh, no. Come on, Grants. Do something here. So what do we got? We only got like... No, we're, we're done. We're retreating. There, there's Wolf, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't do it. It was... Maybe we need to level them up more. Maybe I'll boost uh, sometime and try it because the Grens, when the Battle Wars actually works, they were doing some pretty good damage. So uh, it's definitely an interesting strategy for sure. So we'll go ahead and load up the Zooks. I think if we have time, I'm going to do a quick operation attack after this and we will see how that goes. Okay, so for the Zooks, what do we want to do here, Chicken? I want to get them right about in there, I think. This is going to work out pretty well because we've got a cannon right here to keep them loaded. And, alright, so we'll do something like this. I'm not worried about the cannon firing. I don't think it even will, so that should be okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to flare up nice and straight like that. And I think that's going to allow us to get the Zookas in a decent area. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take out this. And then we're going to move over here. And we're going to use one smoke there. And hopefully that's going to be enough to keep them all in line. We'll throw out the brick ability now. And we're going to throw some critters out right on towards the HQ. And then a couple shocks. And we should be good to go here. And boom. Stage 6 goes down. Alrighty, so we'll see what stage 7 has in store for us. And like I said, getting more hero tokens and tickets, I mean... It's not, uh, there's not much of a whole hashtag chicken science to it, but, uh, just try to be active. Try to get the chests if you can. Um, it's not going to be the end of the world if you don't get as many, uh, tokens as are available each week. Because, I mean, even if you're only opening two chests per week, you're still going to get, like, most of the, uh, most of the tokens that you need to do your upgrades. So, sure, it helps to get a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to be required. Um, it's not like... Um, it's not like if you were diamond farming or power powder farming uh, where it's going to cost um, it, It's going to be a lot of time that you have to invest. This one is not so much. It's just kind of um, It's just kind of log in and uh, like do your supply chest for the day and then you're, you're basically good to go from there. So So that's basically that's basically the, uh, the 
the trick there, guys. Alright, so stage seven. We gotta get the Zookas up here. Uh, Rick. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, guys. I think I was just too late on the shot. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Um, we were, we were too excited, guys. We were too excited. So we'll go try that again. Um, I think I just threw the critters out too early, so... Um, uh, everything else looked somewhat okay. Um, alright, so we'll try this right here. We'll go something like that. Clear it a little pocket here for the Zookas. Gonna use a ton of GBE. Um, so what do we need to shock? One, uh, is that shock launcher in range? I think it is, eh? Probably should have checked it, but we'll be diving on it anyways. Okay. Alright, so Zooka's going out with the chicken, guys. With the chicken. Smoke's going down. Let them all kind of land up there. Then we'll go this way. And I think I'm going to try to one smoke this. We have a little bit more GBE because I feel like we're going to need an extra shock if we're using uh, if we're using Grix ability. It's going to help for sure. Okay. Um, Alright, so we'll go ahead. We'll critter these machine guns. One, two, three... Med kit. So, is the shock launcher hitting us? Oh, okay, that's what screwed us up last time. That's what screwed us up there. So, pretty straightforward stage seven. Um, I, th I think we just got hit with the shock launcher last time. But uh, uh, before we wrap the video, we're going to do an operation attack, and I want to scout it out a little bit first. So we will be right back, right back here. Okay, and we're back, guys. All right. So this is the what we're taking on here. We're fully boosted, and I'm thinking we're just going to go straight at this and. Um, and see exactly what the battle orders can do with the, like against the shield and everything. So I think it's going to be somewhat interesting. So first I'm going to go ahead and barrage away these mines. We don't have to deal with that. And then we're going to, um, we can just kind of launch out the Zookas like this with uh, with brick and tow. And we, I don't think there's going to be any rockets in range. So we can just kind of grease our way right up here. Um, might lose a couple on the edge, but I think that's going to be all right. And we'll go ahead and smoke across like that, and boom. All right, so that should be okay, I'm thinking, because we have we we have enough for like four rounds of shocks or whatever. Well, not, not four rounds, chicken, but a healthy amount of shocks is uh, is what we've got in order. So we got the battle orders up. Look at that damage, guys. That's crazy. Okay, so next we got a shock right here and here those mortars are going to be in play on that side but uh, we'll get another battle orders up and that's all we need to do so uh pretty easy base but i mean tried to try to take it out in an interesting way uh for sure so let me know down in the comments guys uh what your tips and tricks are for getting the most hero tokens and trader tickets um all the time are what's your go-to strategy um is there anything is there even a strategy or is it just simply log on and uh collect your chests and then just kind of like throw the iPad behind you and hope for the best. Let me know all that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Just a quick reminder, guys. If you visit patreon.com backslash the chicken for $1 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner for the duration of the month. And for $2 a month, you become a super chicken and you can get your name in the banner. Plus, uh, you get to write your own personal message.